Welcome to Keysight Education Portal. Before we commence on introducing Keysight X1149 Boundary Scan Analyzer, we will start by doing a brief introduction on Boundary Scan. We will cover the topics on the testing of printed circuit board assembly, PCBA, types of test, and also discuss the need for Boundary Scan. Now, let's discuss the testing of PCBA, specifically the structural and functional test. When we talk about structural test, we will focus mainly on whether it is built accurately. That is, whether the components are placed correctly and to ensure there are no manufacturing defects like opens or shorts. On the other hand, when we talk about functional test, we will be focusing on whether it is working or functioning correctly. One of the ways to conduct structural test is by in-circuit test. In-circuit test utilizes the bit of Nils concept to conduct structural test. In-circuit test requires a test fixture built for each PCB design. The test fixture contains test probes that makes contact with the test point on the PCB for testing the interconnects. However, with the rise of product miniaturization and increasing complexity of PCBAs, a new method of structural testing called the boundary scan method was created as part of IEEE 1149.1 standard in the year 1990. Introducing Boundary Scan Boundary scan is a test technique defined by IEEE 1149.1 standard. This technique enables test vectors to be streamed serially into devices that are IEEE 1149.1 compliant. Unlike in-circuit test, which may have several test points, boundary scan requires only 5 pins to access. They are TDI, test data in, TDO, test data out, TCK, test clock, TMS, test mode select, and lastly, TRST, test reset. It is noted that test reset is not mandated by the standard. According to IEEE 1149.1 standard, the test access port controller, or the tap controller, acts as the brain. The components of the tap controller include both the finite state machine and a few internal registers. The way a tap controller works is by utilizing a test control logic. By controlling and observing what happens at the input TDI and the output TDO, the boundary scan technique can help to check if the connectivity of nodes is correct.